This video is going to help explain how to use the Goodson Offset Valve Relief Tool. Uh, to use this properly, you're going to need a 2.5 and a 4 millimeter Allen wrenches to operate uh, the screws. You need to make sure that you got this one loose for sliding back and forth as far as adjustability for guide center to centers. And then, depending on which tool you're using, it's either going to be set up for the 7 millimeter guides, like uh, the one we have here, or there's an, also an 8 millimeter version. To install the tool in the head and make a cut such as like what we did right here, uh, we're going to move on and do the other intake, but we're going to go, this intake went towards this intake, so we're going to do this intake towards that exhaust, which is going to match up with what you can see is left of the factory style relief in the cylinder next to it. To install the tool, first take the or offset tool, you can see the offset based on there, and it's got a flap on the lower portion there to make sure that it's always indexed correctly. We take that and we're going to put that in our intake which we're wanting to cut with and then we take our base tool and we install that into the guide we are wishing to cut towards on the bottom. And make sure your screws are loose so we can get that loosened up and then we can get it set over this other one. Once we have them in there, you can go ahead and tighten up the pilot guide on the bottom for the adjustable side. And then we also want to tighten this up. I suggest that you wiggle that section back and forth to left and right as you tighten the set screw on the other side with the flat blade to make sure that you end up correctly positioned on the flat and it's not cockeyed or there's no wiggle room. You also need to be careful when you're doing this that you don't get this base too out of true to the guides or can bind up. Uh, when you're setting it, you should be able to come up here and be able to turn this back and forth as you tighten up that screw. And you just slowly tighten the screw, keep turning it back and forth until it doesn't turn anymore and then you're finished up. You can tighten the screw on that flap. They're small screws, so be careful not to over tighten them. They just need to be snug. And as you can see, when we're done there, we have this pilot that's offset in the hole to provide our cut over on this side of that valve. We have a few different chamber cutter styles, uh, including the 45 degree cut with a small radius on both ends that we're going to be using. And then we also have a 20 degree base cut that's got a much larger radius. Uh, use the one that's going to fit up best to your chamber. Uh, this 20 degree with large radius is a little too big for our small chamber in this uh, 6 liter Ford head. So that's why we've gone with this 45 to make a nice blended cut like you can see here. And then we'll just make our new cut over there. Alright, now we're ready to make our cut. I already squared up with a regular pilot in a separate guide to make sure that we're perpendicular to the head. Uh, do it separately to a different guide versus just off of our offset pilot because there's more area in the guide to help stabilize it and make sure that it's square. When you're setting the chamber cutter, you want to be able to set it as far out as you can to get maximum to shrouding, but you want to be taking nothing off of the cylinder wall edge. So you see we're just set to come up just to the edge of where that valve job was cut. And then as it comes around, it will continue to cut farther and farther out to the maximum offset. So now if we set up and make this cut, We'll go down just until it gets to the top angle of the valve job, which is right there. You can see how nicely that blends out, and now we've just shrouded that valve.